Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you the Power BI DAX state function that is help to calculate values for a specific period. So what I mean by specific period that means from let's say a specific date uh, to going back to from a specific date going back to let's say 10 days back or 15 days back or uh, maybe 15 months back or one month back right. So from a specific date, if you want to go back to number of days, number of months, number of quarters or number of years, then this, this basically tutorial is something you will find it useful. Also, not only you can to go back, you can also go into the future, which I will show you how you can do that. Also, it is very important for this particular video. Uh, you see this one, right? This is a base for this video based on which uh, I am showing this particular video. So I know the link is not present, but by the time you are view, you will be viewing this video. Uh, all of the links I'll be publishing it over here. Okay, so make sure you watch this video first and then here. Also a quick information if you have landed very first time on my channel, then this particular sheet is something which is present in the description so that you can easily search all of my videos uh, by pressing let's say control F and search anything that you want to uh, you know create or planning to use in Power BI and looking for assistance. Also since it is live all of my future videos will also be present here so don't have to worry whatever I will post will be coming here. So I'll, I'm making sure that I'm post keeping a track of each and every video for you so that you can easily search and jump to the video using the link which is present here in column B. All right, with that, let's move on here and see this thing in action. All right, so what do I want? Let's say I have a scenario where, for example, I have this date, let's say specific date, 31st uh, Jan 2017, and I wanna go to 15 days back, right? Let's say around here, which I believe is the 15 day, Days. So, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So, I want to go to 15 days back and calculate the sum of these values. Right? So, whatever is coming right from here to here, I want to calculate this sales value. So, to do that, uh, like I said, you know, that video you need to see where I have calculated this particular date and which is based on the order date and here I will be going to use the sales. So that's why the two tables are coming into the picture for achieving this. All right, with that, let me create a new measure and measure is uh, 15 sales 15 days back, sales 15 days back maybe from 31st Jan 2017, <laughs> right? So calculate sum of sales. Uh, then I will be using date in period function. Here I'll be specifying the date, which is nothing but this particular order date date, this one and then i need to specify the start date this i will use convert it using the date function which will be 2017 month is first 31st and in number of intervals minus 15 that means 15 go 15 days back if i use plus 15 or just 15 that means go 15 days in future right that means in fab so minus 15 and interval is what day so as you can see, you have day, you can specify month, you can specify quarter, you can specify year. These are the options that you have. So I'm using day, closing the date in period, closing calculate and clicking OK. Sales 15 days back from where 31st Jan. And let's come here, sales 15 days. Let me select this or let me select this, remove this sales 15 days what you get is 5.25 right so if you do the calculation from here to here you see that you have 2.610 which will be like 3.6 and then very small values 
which is making up 5.25k. So if this is what you are looking for uh, from a specific day, you want to go 15 days back or a specific months back, year back, you can, you can basically do this without much of a hassle using the function which I showed. If I just click it again here, you will see all of this calculation easily. So that's about it and I'll meet you now in the next video with a new topic.